So hey guys today Ow. So hey guys today I am going to be doing a first impressions of the new 17 on the spot foundation. I literally just bought this like however long ago I bought it, like less than an hour ago. So this is off the press people. This is like new stuff, okay? So this is the latest foundation that 17 have got out and I like waving it around clearly. Um, it's supposedly kind of aimed at younger skin and it's got some kind of it claims that it have clearer skin in just four weeks so yeah that's what it claims for the shade I got it in shade fair but to be honest I didn't really look at the shades I kind of just looked and thought that's the lightest one let's get that one I did actually put it on the back of my hand but I can't see where it went so it must be pretty much the right shade um, I have no foundation on at the moment so I'm going to put it on over that and it just says what it does the sides um, it says containing our unique skin clearing clear I can't read Containing our unique skin clear complex with blemish fighting something acid cell acid. The foundation gives you clearer skin in just four weeks and if you need to know what the acid name is, it's there. So this has quite big claims and it also says it's full coverage and SPF 15. Well, full coverage I mean, I'd want flawless skin if I was going to be wearing full coverage foundation, so we'll see what this has to offer. This was, I want to say 5 99 but I'm not 100% sure on that. The price will be here. And yeah, so there wasn't, I think it was like pound off maybe or something like that, two pounds off. So if you want to try it out, go get it now from Boots. And yeah, the packaging is like, it looks like it's going to be a squirty thing where you unscrew the cap and then you squirt it up but it's actually got a pump so I was really confused when I saw this I was like why is it got such a long thing expect to maybe to undo it there'll be a brush or something like you know the number seven highlighter it's got a brush attached to it but no it's got like a pump on it I mean this is just it doesn't make sense because surely these sort of packages you squeeze it, you pump it and it's just too much for my mind to comprehend I'm really confused with this packaging and it's just so long it just doesn't look right it looks out of proportion and odd but anyway that's not really why you buy foundation you buy foundation for the foundation so let's get into that um i'm going to apply it with my fingers because i like to try out foundations with fingers and then i will know what sort of brush i'm going to use next time normally for foundation i use the um, real techniques buffing brush however i haven't worn foundation in quite some time i wore it the other night when i went out for a meal but other than that i've been wearing the maybelline dream fresh bb cream and this has completely converted me from Revlon Color Stay Foundation, so we'll see if this kind of keeps up with those two things. And actually, also, when I was in Boots, I saw they've just released an oily skin version of this BB cream, and it's kind of like blue instead of pink, blue and white. So I might try and see if that's any good. I don't know if I'm going to buy it, it was like 6 99 but I might test that out because I really love that BB cream. And if there's one for oily skin, because I have really oily skin, if I didn't already mention that, then, you know, that'd be good. So I'm just going to pump one pump, if it comes out. Ooh, there we go, yeah. That actually doesn't look enough, I'm gonna pump another pump. Ooh, that was a bigger pump. Okay, so the first pump was like a weird half pump. Okay, so let's just, oh my god, I've got way too much now. Let's just pop a bit on my skin. So, first up, this foundation has a smell to it. Definitely very, I think it's the acid that's in it that I can smell, kind of smells like skincare. Okay, and I can straight away tell this is very high coverage. Well, not very high, it's like quite good coverage. It's kind of got a very... I really don't, I can't think of what it is. It almost smells like a foundation I've tried before, but I don't know what one it is. I can definitely... Oh, I was just about to put that on my eyelid then. I've already got eyeshadow on. That would not have gone well. Okay, so... Coverage, very nice, I would say. It's not too full coverage. I don't like really full coverage foundations. I've got loads on my hands still. I think that they look a bit kind of unnatural, but I mean, I'd heard, I think it was Miss Budget Beauty did a kind of like review on this and or first impressions. And I don't think she said it was full coverage. I actually can't remember now. But I haven't seen anyone else talking about this foundation, so I was quite interested in it. This colour is definitely going to be a summer colour for me. I don't think I'd get away with wearing this in the winter. And it's weird. Looking at it on my hand, it's kind of like 
it looks oily but it isn't oily and I kind of feel like it should be oily but it really isn't oily it's such a weird kind of yeah it's really weird I don't know how to describe it and it's kind of got a bit of shine left on it so you know I'd probably powder it um it kind of matches my body kind of doesn't I don't know it might be a bit more like just blend a little bit down my neck a bit yeah this is really attractive I really don't know so far if I like it I mean there isn't anything that's straight away going like whoa this is a really bad foundation or anything it's just kind of different it definitely has a scent to it it is very I don't know what the scent is and I'm gonna have to figure out which foundation it is as well I probably wouldn't wear concealer with this which is good I mean it's good enough coverage I would just not wear concealer and I do like how quick it was to apply I probably wouldn't apply it with my fingers I probably would I don't even know what foundation brush I would use with it I'd have to try it out the feel on my skin you can definitely feel there's something there like some foundations you touch and it just doesn't feel like you've got foundation on this one definitely does I have not set it with powder yet so I shouldn't really be making assumptions I'll wipe the rest of it off the back of my hand before I get it everywhere. Um, it's kind of like a meh foundation. It's not amazing so far. I mean, obviously the actual foundation itself, the main kind of selling point is the fact that it's supposed to give you clearer skin. My skin is pretty clear at the moment, so I probably shouldn't... I mean, I don't know if it will make it any clearer because it isn't too bad at all. Like, I don't really have any spots. Sorry, when I move close to the light, goes funny. So, so far, first impressions are... It's okay. I wouldn't tell you to rush out and buy this foundation. There is definitely a scent to it. If this is the lightest shade, then if you're really, really pale, then I wouldn't go for it. But I, they normally have a lighter shade. I mean, this is this is unfair, and it looked like the lightest shade in the store, but it probably will be a lighter shade. I mean, it has got a slight kind of. I don't want to say it's orangey, it's just a tiny bit too dark. I probably could have gone with a lighter shade, but then I suppose since it's getting into summer, I'm going to be getting darker skin. Um, yeah, it blended quite nicely, and yeah, other than that, it's quite good. It's kind of like not amazing, not rubbish, so yeah, that's my first impressions. See you next time. Bye!